Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some logic puzzles. This is a special puzzle for me because this is actually my very first custom handmade puzzle that I've made. It's a hybrid between a Sudoku and a catwalk puzzle. If you've never done a catwalk puzzle, check out my last video. I'll post the link in the description um, up in the corner. And then if you want to give this puzzle a try first before seeing the solution of how it unravels, go ahead and hit the link in the description below. Um, how it works, just like a regular Sudoku, each row, column, and box is going to contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. And then the additional rule sets state that there's a cat here in this cell that must connect with its milk bowl up here. And it does so by walking orthogonally. So it might do something like that. It can't walk diagonally, and it can't walk on any cells that are even digits. So it's going to walk orthogonally only on odd digits. Um, and the last bit of information is that I've highlighted cells in the ninth row and column to make this 8x8 eight eight subsection. So the cat is only going to walk in that area. And the purple clues down here that I've highlighted indicate how many cells in that row or column must be walked upon. So in this row, only one cell can be touched by the cat. And in this column, three cells are going to have to be crossed by the cat. So without uh, further ado, let's get uh, started on this puzzle. So the first thing I noticed is this column is already solved, right? It's a one clue. We already have one cell highlighted. So I would make all of that red. And so the cat is forced to get to the milk bowl by this cell here. So I can color that one in. And I think that's about it from that angle. Let's go back to the start here where the cat is. What I know is I can't come up, because if I come up, I'm going to have to then come back down to hit these three and two clues, and I'm going to have too many cells on the two row, right? <clears throat> so I can't come up, and I can't come to the left here, because if I come to the left, I've already finished this row, and I'm going to need to come down at some point, and then again, I'm going to have too many cells covered on that row because I'm going to have to exit. So what that means is if I can't go up or to the left, I have to come down. And with this being a three clue and away from the milk bowl, I have to hit all three cells at once. Again, I can't, I would not be able to say hit this cell, exit, and then come back down for the third cell because I'd be forced to turn. And then again, I'd have too many cells. So we have to hit all three immediately and then exit. And what that does is that solves for the two and the three. And so the cat must continue going forward like that. And what this one clue does is it states that this four is going to have to be completed before I hit this row. Because no matter what, once I hit this row, I have to continue going forward. I have to shoot through this row. Um, so this four, I can't come to the right. There's not enough spaces. That's only three. So I'd be forced to come to the left here. And that solves the four row. Oops. I'll highlight all those red. And again, once I hit this row, I have to shoot through. So that row is now complete. And here at this point, we're going to use some different clues other than the ones in purple. Here we're going to use the even and odd clue. So this eight is an even digit. So I can't go straight. That means I have to come to the left or to the right. If I come to the left, I'm sort of forced to finish the trail prematurely, right? Because I, I'm, I'm forcing this turn here. And if I do that, I'm not completing this three column or this four column, right? I need to hit some cells in those two columns. So I'm forced to come to the right. And when I notice this four, actually we know it's gonna be these three because this six is an even digit. So that's gonna be red and there's only three left plus the one down here, and that makes that four. And we still need to complete the three, so we need to, to turn here. This one can't be it, because otherwise, how would I hit this cell here, right? If, if I hit this cell, well, I'd be forced to turn up, and then there would be four. So there's no way this could be part of it. And so at this point, the three is complete, so you know you can't go up to the five, and you just continue. And there you have it. So the cat walks that way. 
And so what I'll do, I'll clean this up. We don't need all of these red cells anymore. So I will make that like that. And what I'll do, just for simplicity's sake and as a reminder, all of these green cells have to be odd digits, right? So one, three, five, seven, nine. And let's clean that up a bit. This three blocks all of those from being threes. The seven and the one means this can't be a one or seven. This can't be a seven because of the seven at the bottom. These can't be fives because there's already a five in that box. This can't, none of these can be threes in that column. This here can't be a one, five, or, uh, uh, or seven because of these here. And it can't be a three because of this three. So here we know is actually going to be a nine, meaning these are no longer nines. Oops, no longer nines. These are no longer nines. And that helps. The next thing to consider is this five blocks those from being fives. We have a three and a nine here, so those can't be three or nine. So we have a one, seven pair, meaning this can no longer be a one or seven. Can't be a three, we already have a three in the box and a nine in the box. So that leaves just with a five there. And we can finish this box off because we have just one digit left. That must be a four. Uh, let's clean these up. These can't be fives because of the five down there. Um, this can't be a three either. This is a three over there. And this can't be a one because of that one. And none of these can be sevens because there's already a seven in the box. And I think that's, oh, these can't be fives. There's already a five at the top. And I think that's it for cleaning up the odd digits. So I noticed here this two only has one spot to go. These are all going to be even digits, these four. So these can't be a two, that must be the two. Plopping a two in one of those cells. A four is forced to go in one of these three. And in fact, this is just a triple. Let's just write that in, four, six, eight. And so then the four can go in that cell on that one. And I notice here there's a four and a six already. So that forces an eight to go there. These are no longer eight. And now um, we have all the evens in this row. So these must be odd digits, but not a one. So three, five, seven, nine. This can't be a seven or a three. So that's a five nine pair, that's good to know. Um, this can't be a five, that can't be a five. So in fact, where's the five? Well, the five could go there. I spoke a little prematurely. Um, eights, these two eights force an eight here. These two eights is gonna plop an eight over there. Two and two forces a two up here. Two's gonna be in one of those cells, but not this one because of that cell, so we can put a two there. And that forces a two in one of those cells. This here, we already have four. Eh, no, that doesn't quite work. Um, five. Five here means these can't be fives. So five is gonna be forced down here. Now we already know that, putting a five there. These must be even digits. This is forced to be an odd, those are odds. So these have to be six, eight, a six, eight pair. Um, what am I missing? These also have to be even digits, right? We have one, two, three, four. No, I guess they don't have to be. There's gonna be one even, one odd. Oh, here's a double. Let's just write that in. One, two, three, so four and a six. We know the four doesn't go here because of the four below it. So that's a six, making that a four. So this is the odd digit, right? We only have one, two, three, four. This is the fifth odd digit. 
So that's going to be one, three, five, seven, nine, but not a five, not a nine. So one, three, or seven. Um, what else? This is a, uh, a double, right? Oh, these can't be sevens. I could have cleaned that one up earlier. So we're missing a six and an eight here. Oh, and that can be solved. This, these two clean this up. So that's a six, that's an eight. And let's think about these two here. We have one, two, three, four. No, that's not gonna be four. Two. So we're missing a four. A four goes up here and one of those two. The four down here forces a four here. So this is now a two, four pair, like that. Making this a pair of three, nine. Three, nine pair. So this can no longer be a three. So we have a one, four, seven triple. So that's one, four, seven. This can't be a four, actually, because of this four. So that force is a four here. This is no longer a four. We can take the four there. So that's one seven there. This one seven pair in box two means that this has to be the three. And that three makes this a one, making that a nine, and that the three. These are no longer threes. So now we have a five nine pair, meaning these are no longer nines. So that's a three seven pair, making this a two nine pair. Two nine, we can get rid of the corner mark. So that two nine means none of these are nines. Where does the three go in this row? It's, well, it's gotta be one of those. I guess there's two options there. Um, oh, this can't be the three. Never mind. I knew I was onto something. Okay, so now where does the three go in that row? There's only one spot for the three. So that's a three, meaning that's no longer a three. Okay. This is a triple, a one, five, seven triple, right? Oh, this one. Yeah, no, that's, let's fix that. So this is a seven, making that a five. That five makes this a one. So this can no longer be a one. So now this is a double here. We're missing a two and a seven, right? two and a seven. This is an X-wing of sevens, so these can't be sevens. Oh, this seven means this is a one. That's the seven. We have an X-wing of ones too, so none of these can be ones. Well, we know these couldn't be ones because of that. But we know these can't be ones because of that. So, okay, so never mind. That wasn't that helpful. This is four, six, eight, right? Four, six, eight. We can get rid of the corner marks. This top one can't be a four. So let's get rid of that. Um, two, four, six. That six means that's an eight. That's the six. We have all the even digits now. Oh, this seven means that's a one. Don't know how long I'm missing that. That means this can no longer be a one. This is a five nine pair, meaning that's a seven. Uh, let's see. So we're missing now here. So this is a triple with this. So we're missing a five and a nine and a, a six, right? Yeah, six. Five can't go here. Hmm. This is a triple here, five, nine, and a, uh, 
um, three. We know the five can't go here, and we know the three can't go here because of these two. So that's a nine. That forces this to be a six. This is no longer a six. This here is no longer a nine. And where does the and this is no longer a nine. So that's the five. That's the nine. That's the five. That's a nine. This is a three. That's the five. And yeah, by now it should be all on that one. That's a one. That's a nine. This is a seven, that's the one. This is a three, that's a seven. This three forces that to be a nine, that to be the three. Uh, this four, I've missed for a while. So this four means this is a two, that's the four. This is a nine, that's a two. Uh, that seven means this is a two here, making that the seven. This is no longer a six. So we have a four eight here. Oops, four eight. Um, this is also a four eight, right? No, that four means this can't be a four. Yeah, so this is an eight, right? All right, let's let's let's. Uh, I might have gone too fast here. So one two three. So we're missing a four. Five, six, seven, yeah, I'm missing an eight too. Okay, so this four means this is an eight. That's a four, meaning that's the eight, and that's a six. That's a four, and that is a six, and there you have it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your time was. Let me know if it was difficult, too easy, too hard, uh, if there was a particular uh, set of the rules that wasn't very clear or a place that you got stuck in. I'm very curious because again, this was my very first puzzle that I've ever made. Uh, and be honest, you know, I, I mean, constructive criticism helps. So whatever you guys felt when you were doing this, let me know. I'm definitely curious. I'm going to be doing a few more of these. I've made already two additional puzzles that I'll be showing you and, and sharing the links with. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.